hey deepak here again and in this video i want to give you a tour of my wordpress blog so as we have discussed in the previous lessons it is best to set up your first website on the wordpress platform so i want you to understand that wordpress.com is different from wordpress.org so here i am at wordpress.org so wordpress.org is an open source content management system which you can download and install on your own server to set up your own domain with it so this is recommended because this you can use for commercial use and the hosting and the files are completely under your control there is something else called wordpress.com wordpress.com is just like blogger.com where you can set up a blog you can either set up your username .wordpress.com or you can set up your own domain as well but it will be hosted at wordpress.com and you need not pay any hosting fee but the limitation with wordpress.com is that you cannot use it for commercial use if you are trying to make money from your website by placing ads or promoting something the terms and conditions of wordpress.com says that it cannot be done also if one day wordpress.com decides to shut down your blog for some reason then you would lose all the work that you have done so for experimentation purposes maybe you can set up a blog at wordpress.com but if you are trying to make any revenue from your blog or trying to experiment with your blog to learn digital marketing i would recommend wordpress.org so here i am inside the login area of my wordpress blog this is how it looks this is wordpress version 4.7 at the time of making this video wordpress 4.7 is the latest version but they will keep releasing new versions but it would look more or less the same so i will just give you a small tour of the login area so that you get comfortable with the whole wordpress thing so dashboard so here is the dashboard which shows me overall how many pages have been published how many posts have been published the number of comments comments waiting moderation so if i am if i have to approve the comments which are waiting for moderation i can click on the comments section here and here you can see there are two comments waiting for moderation so i would just look at the comments to check if they are spam and if it doesn't look like spam i would approve if it looks like spam i would click mark as spam or i would just delete it so going back to the dashboard so here we are at the dashboard and then there is a section called posts here in posts you can create new posts edit existing posts so here you can see all the posts i have published is here if i want to add new post i can click on add new and here i can enter the title enter the content i can select categories i can add the seo tags such as titles meta description and things like that and then i can just go ahead and click on publish and as soon as i click on publish a new blog post will be published on my blog and it is as easy as that let's wait for the page to load yeah so if i want to publish a new post here i just need to publish it from here then there is a section called media where i can upload all the media related to my blog and this section can also be accessed from the add media button here so if i want to upload an image for my post i can click on add media and then um, just drag and drop a file from my desktop to upload it on the wordpress platform so there is something called pages which are different from posts for example if you go to my blog click on top articles so top article is a page and not a post so posts are usually attached with a date and it comes in a chronological order on the home page but pages are separate pages inside the blog which does not have a date attached to it so that's pages so affiliate links is basically a plugin so one thing i want to tell you about in the entire wordpress thing is that plugins and themes so plugins and themes are there are plenty of plugins and themes available for wordpress and each plugin does a different work for example if you had noticed as soon as you subscribed to my blog um for my free digital marketing newsletter 
uh, you would have landed on a page which asks you to share a particular link to get access to the download link of a book so that particular activity is performed by this plugin called social locker and social locker is a premium plugin so there are both premium and paid plugins for wordpress so if you go to add new in plugins you would see plenty of plugins which would do plenty of different activities for your wordpress blog and wordpress is the only platform which has so many plugins like this both premium and free which will enhance the functionality of your blog for example if you want to show related posts below each and every post there is a plugin for that there is a plugin called related post plugin let me just search for it so if i search for related post plugin you can see there is a few plugins you can see the ratings uh, you can see the number of installs so go ahead look at a review of a plugin and if you like that plugin just install it so initially when you are just experimenting with your wordpress blog you can go ahead and install as many plugins as you like but as a general rule for the long term adding a lot of plugins will flutter your wordpress blog so i would recommend if you are getting started with blogging very seriously only install the plugins which are extremely necessary so themes so if you go to themes so right now for my blog i am using a premium theme called thesis and the um, blog runs on the thesis platform but there are a plenty of free themes as well so if you go to themes and if you click on add new sorry for the background noise some construction activity going in the nearby plot so here you can see plenty of free themes that are available in the wordpress repository you can install any theme you want that you like or you can go and search for premium themes just google top 10 premium themes so there are themes like genesis or studio press uh, there are uh, themes like thesis and there are plenty of paid themes which are good for professional blogging like if you want a very good platform to build your blog on and you can change the theme anytime you want the basic core structure all the content and the comments is stored in a database not in the theme so theme is just an outer layer um then there are users you can add new users to your blog like for example if you need to add a writer to your blog who could log in themselves and publish posts you could add a new user and you can set permissions for this user as well so you can set a permission as contributor or author so they will not be able to go and change any settings in your blog but they will be able to only go inside posts and submit a new post so if it is a contributor you can get a new post from them and only upon your approval it will get published or you could go ahead and uh, give an author permission where they could go ahead and publish directly if they want so some more premium plugins that i use so wordpress is a premium plugin uh, it will take daily backups of my blog and store it in two different server locations across the world so that if one day my hosting goes down uh, i still have backups of my blog so wordpress is a premium service it would cost 5 dollars a month for one blog then there is something called performance plugins w3 total cache so performance plugins basically helps speed up your website wp touch basically creates a mobile version of my site easy social share buttons so you would have seen social share buttons on all my blog posts so if you open up a blog post you can see that there is a social share button right so these social share buttons are created by easy share easy social share buttons plugin and then there is optin monster so optin monster is also a premium plugin so if you click on this particular link you can see there's a pop up comes which asks you to subscribe to a free digital marketing course so this is taken care of by optin monster i have also written a review of optin monster on my blog so that's about it uh, the tour of inside my wordpress blog and um, if you have not set up your wordpress blog yet i highly recommend you do so there are plenty of free resources which i have given and there are plenty of free resources on the web as well uh, wordpress nearly 20% of the websites in the world are powered by wordpress that's one in five websites powered by wordpress 
WordPress has come over a long journey with so many open source developers working on developing it and they are continuously improving the stability and the features of the platform. So that's about it and if you have not registered a domain go ahead and register a domain. Um, after you register a domain you need to buy hosting service to host your WordPress blog. I personally use this um, hosting company called WPX hosting. Uh, which would cost you s to start with somewhere around $25 a month. So I am on the $50 a month plan for my traffic and one of the benefits of WPX hosting is that it's a managed WordPress hosting and the page load speed is extremely fast. So the page load speed is very important because you would need uh, very good page load speed to look good in the eyes of Google, right? So Google, one of their ranking algorithms is that the page load speed should be very fast. Uh, that's that gives a good user experience. So uh, that is, if you are just getting started, um, I would recommend hostgator.com. Uh, mind it, it's not hostgator.in, but hostgator.com, the US version, which uh, is definitely better than the Indian version. So you can click on buy now, um, basic web hosting, and you can go ahead and sign up for something like a hatchling plan which is just for one website or you can team up with a bunch of people bunch of friends and you can go ahead and buy something called which is the baby plan so you can look at baby plan so baby plan will allow you to host unlimited websites unlimited websites in the sense not technically unlimited but uh, they have limitations on how much bandwidth you can use and how much server resources you can use. So if you have a thousand websites which does not get any traffic at all, it would still be okay. But if you have more than 10 websites out of which each website gets more than like 200, 300 visitors a day, then they would ask you to upgrade. So the prices start as low as uh, $12 a month. And if you go for longer plans, it would cost you uh, less than ten dollars a month uh, here when you are trying to register at hostgator click on i already own this domain enter your domain uh, go ahead and sign up for hostgator so in another video i will show you how to set up a wordpress blog with hostgator how cpanel works and other things like that but for now i guess uh, this video served the purpose of getting you comfortable with the whole wordpress thing and uh, Remember that it's wordpress.org and uh, it's called a self-hosted WordPress blog. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.